played for and we are trending at number one whoop whoop and uh, i'd hate to interrupt this song however it this is one of those songs back in the day what is that line joe uh i think it's major who says it's not that one <laughs> What a mess, Jesus Christ. Anyway, I can see your tweets and I'm going to be reading them in just a bit because, yes, today we are taking it all the way back to when we were in high school. Oh, God. Okay, clearly our high school experiences are very different and I'm in shock when I'm reading all these tweets that are coming in and hearing these stories behind the scenes. However, we are with the people of Kwetu and I told you I have some questions and I know you have some questions as well. So please do send in your questions to hashtag HNH 984 to find out more about this new student living that has just come up and is taking everybody by storm. Actually, my first question is, is it co-ed? First, introduce <laughs> yourselves. Yes. Okay, Hello. so uh, my name is Ian Hunter-White. I'm a sales and marketing consultant for Kwetu. Mm-hmm. And I'm Magdalene Mulandi, and I am in marketing at Kwetu. Oh, right. Okay. So okay. back to Anne's my question. question. Is it co-ed? <laughs> uh, it is, yeah. We do have it as a co-ed uh, hostel, but what we do is we have the floors, um, you know, one girl's floor, one boy's floor, one girl's floor, one boy's okay. floor. We're trying to teach these guys to interact, obviously, on a social level, mm-hmm. um, you know, so as we create a great society. Mm-hmm. Right. So, you know, obviously we didn't want to keep them, you know, all girls in one building and all boys in another because then, you know, how do we interact? Right. Yes. So, like, my first semester in uni, I had a roommate that I didn't know, and thank God she turned out okay. But a lot of my friends complained about roommates they had, which didn't turn out okay. How do you make, how is the room, roommate process going to happen? Okay, so uh, we obviously prefer it if you turn up with a friend mm-hmm. that you either went to school with or you go to university with because then we don't have those problems. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, uh, we will match people together if we think that they're a good match. But mm. ideally, you know, family, you know, brothers uh, with brothers, sisters with sisters, cousins, etc. Uh, that's also good for us. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll try and keep uh, it as a promotion for friends and friends and, right. and family. Mm. And being in such a system, you know, you can be prone to many weird people coming to the, the residence being like, OK, you know what, I'm going to A1, but clearly they're just going there to do nothing and probably still how are you guys trying to manage all these things that the might just go wrong yeah. yes okay so we we have a 24-hour building uh, management team uh so they're there to make sure that obviously all the students are uh, enjoying themselves but you know behaving as well uh we also have our own safety team on site but the thing is the it's all about the guys getting to know who live with us uh you know and if they're not going to school then it's a case of giving them a knock on the door and saying you know come on guys you know, mm. you, you want to be part of this great society that uh, you've got to actually, you know, go to school and learn and then contribute from there. Okay. Right. I'm curious about the cost because when I was reading about all the different amenities that are available, they sound better than where I live and I'm an adult. <laughs> and when I was in uni, even where I stayed, I can only imagine how much money I would have had to pay to have such amenities. I mean, you have lifts, you have the borehole, you have the elevator. You